This is how you calculate bioaccessible concentrations in milligrams per kilogram of sample from ICPMS data in parts per billion. First, a brief overview of the bioaccessibility experiment. Here I'm drawing a falcon tube, and in this falcon tube we measure out a specific amount of sample here in purple. And the sample is dissolved in either gastric or lung fluid, which is represented by this blue solution. And so your sample is going to dissolve in your solution over a specific amount of time. Here I show it's delta T. So for lung extraction, it's a week, and for gastric, it's an hour. And after that amount of time in that same falcon tube, you are left with um, still solution, but now with dissolved amount of analytes. And I show these here as red dots. And you also still have residual undissolved material in the falcon tube. And we're just going to call this solution A. And at this point, the dissolved analytes are too concentrated to measure using the ICPMS. So you um, need to make specific dilutions. And here's another falcon tube with the supernatant solution again in blue with dissolved analytes shown by red dots. And we di um, dilute the supernatant solution with nitric acid, which is depicted in green, and we'll call this solution B. At this point, you either need to make more dilutions or are ready for ICPMS. And in this example, we'll just say we're dilute enough and start our calculations. So we're going to back calculate from ICPMS data. So say we have 3.1 parts per billion of analyte X. In other words, 3.1 micrograms of X in a liter of solution B. Eventually, we want micrograms or milligrams of analyte in kilograms of sample. So we want to convert liters of solution B to grams of solution B. Um, and we do this by dividing by a thousand. And focusing on solution B, um, we made a total of 15 grams of solution B by diluting, in this case, 5.1 grams of solution A with nitric acid. And now focusing on solution A, we made a total of 10 grams of solution A by dissolving, in this case, 0 0.1 grams of sample into either um, gastric or lung fluid. And then lastly, we want to convert grams of sample to kilograms of sample by multiplying by a thousand. And so um, we calculate this and we get 957 micrograms of analyte X per kilogram of sample. Um, which is the same as 0.957 milligrams of analyte X per kilogram of sample. And of course, di dimensional analysis is really nice because we can see if everything cancels out. So the units do, in fact, cancel out. Um, and that's how you calculate the bioaccessible concentration from ICPMS data.